Hi, it's Matt McDermott. I wanted to follow up on my SharePoint conference session by uh, showing the demo that wasn't working because of network issues. And so uh, it goes something like this. I'm inside the Contoso search center here. And when uh, our marketing people look for annual legal review, they notice that the, uh, that the blog post types that are coming back are not great. So here's the annual legal review meeting. And they don't really like the look and feel of this. They certainly don't like the hover cards. And what, what they found out is that when they do that same search in the search center that I configured, when they go in and do that exact same search, they like the search results a lot better. So here is that same blog post for the annual legal review meeting. And it shows the author, Rob Young. It shows how many likes he has on his post. And it actually shows a thumbnail of the of the blog post page. And of course, I did that by all I did was copy the um, web page display template, and then I created a rule that associates the display template with the with the result type, and then I get the results that I'm looking for. Of course, I added a few managed properties, but you know how to do all that. This is about deployment. So what I need to do is create a display a, um, a deployment package using Design Manager. So I'm going to go into the design manager for my site and I'm going to publish the design manager result files. And so the main thing you need to do is create a design package. I'm going to create 1.2 and I'm going to choose to include the search configuration. Now I'm not entirely clear on everything that gets included here, but I'm going to show you an alternate way to include the search results. I mean, I'm sorry, the search configuration when you go through and do this. So here we go. So I've got my design package created. I'm going to uh, download it by clicking here. And that's going to download this version. We'll go ahead and save it to my Office 365 settings here. And now what I can do is apply that design package to my Contoso search site. So I'm going to go into site settings. And thanks to the folks in the audience that corrected me that it is under import design package. And here I'm going to browse for that design package and I'm going to open it. So now I'm in the target site collection where I'm doing this. And we'll choose import. Okay, so the design package was imported. Now your changes won't, be, won't take effect right away. And there's a few reasons that I've found for that. But let me show you what's happened. If I go into my site settings and I go into master pages and page layouts. Of course, this is where the display templates are being stored. I go into display templates. Let me clear this. Into search. And since I copied the web template, and these are in alphabetical order, I'm going to have to jump through some paging here. And uh, so I copied this one. I copied the item web page and the item web page hover panel. So let's jump over to, here we go. Uh, here's my item web page post. So that's my custom display template. And you can see based on the dates that it is the, uh, that it's the new display template that got, de that got deployed. So if the search configuration came out the way I expected, I should also see a result type linked to my post. And what I found is that the result types don't come through. Now let's look at query rules. Did the query rules come through? So it looks like my query rules did not come through either. So not a big deal. Let's go ahead and go back to our source center. And let's go into Site Settings, Search Configuration Export, and let's save that to our Office 365 local files. And now I can jump back to Query Rules, and we'll go. So now I'm back in the Target. I'm going to Site Settings, and this time I'm going to choose Import Search Configuration. And so 
it goes in and it, you see it's here, the scope is the site, and it's importing. I'm gonna refresh. And it's imported successfully. So now if I go back to my site settings and I go into my result types, I should now see my blog post result type. So the export of the display templates doesn't always include all of the rules that are needed to do the wiring. But now that I've done that, I've not made any other changes. Let's go ahead and test our results. So we did annual legal review because this was the, the one that our folks were complaining about. And here it is. There's Rob Young, two, two likes, and we've got our display template deployed. That was the demo I was hoping to give you, and uh, we just, just ran out of time trying to do that. So I hope this clarifies how you can deploy both your display templates and your query rules um, and your result, ty result types along with all of your design assets. Thanks so much. And again, thank you for being such an amazing audience. This is Matt.